Um, you made a, a, a nice film for uh, GB News where you went uh, and investigated the grooming gang. So what do you make of this announcement today? To what extent was the fact that race and culture played a part in those crimes? To what extent will that be uh, more tolerable, more manageable after these statements today? Well, Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary, will be arriving here in Rochdale later today to meet with police chiefs, survivors and indeed child abuse specialists to discuss the raft of new plans that the government has announced this morning. The chief of which is this new task force to investigate child grooming gangs wherever they are found. And the key detail that has been missed from this discussion so far this morning is that this task force is being supported by the NCA, the National Crime Agency, which has enjoyed so much success in Rotherham under Operation Stover. You'll remember, of course, that in Rotherham, the J report in 2014 found that 1,400 girls had been abused from 1997 to 2013. But when the National Crime Agency was brought in very soon after that report was published, it's actually revised that figure up to 1,510 and made dozens of more prosecutions and convictions. And so the NCA being parachuted in with their specialist officers to the various local police forces should make a significant difference. And indeed, if any GB News viewers recognise that policy, it's because they would have heard it in the documentary recommended back in February. There's also a few more recommendations being made, including mandatory reporting being announced very soon. And we're also going to see more efforts on the collection of data ethnicity. Now, you've just heard from your commentator there about the issue of the Home Office report in 2020, which said that it was impossible to know the truth about the ethnic links to this crime due to a lack of available data. Well, now it is hoped that more data collection will be achieved, which will allow for a better understanding. But even with the limited data that the Home Office had in 2020, it found... Ch that British Pakistanis were vastly overrepresented in this kind of abuse. Charlie, um, how does this task force operate? If, 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 if there's reports of child grooming, sex grooming, does, it, does the task force go en masse to the town or city where it happens? And how big and how many people are on it and how experienced are the people who are doing the investigating? Well, I'll be exclusively interviewing the Home Secretary later to get more details about this new task force. But in Rotherham, under Operation Stovewood, the National Crime Agency essentially took over investigations into historical child sexual exploitation, pouring in hundreds of millions of pounds to launch new investigations with hundreds of new officers, and really ventured to areas where South Yorkshire Police had failed. Operation Linden, an investigation into the efficacy of South Yorkshire Police, found gross and widespread failures. And the reason why the NCA has been so successful in Rotherham and throughout South Yorkshire is because they were able to bring in and look under stones that were previously unturned. And so in the documentary in February, we uncovered up to 50 different towns and cities where we believe that these grooming gangs have credible reports of them going on. But the National Crime Agency has only been to one. With this new task force, perhaps they will find new towns to investigate.